this was the first of four uh, rhythmic IDs uh, with the chords uh, uh, on walking bass uh, with chords on the guitar and uh, I will talk about this I, I will give you some IDs with the rhythm uh, in this lesson and uh, I have the same quite the same um, bass line goes like this And uh, it builds on the chord G7 to C7. So you have G7 and C7. But I color the chords and I have also some substitutions um, uh, leading into the chords and so on. Uh, but the, the main thing with this lesson is the rhythmic IDs that I show. Okay. So the first Okay. Uh, and you start with the G13 chord and doing the bass line but but you you, you play the, the bass uh, and the other tones at the same time and then only the other tones except the bass okay and go up with the bass line and then this come okay and what happens here is that this is a substitution you it's a D flat 9 chord but you have the seventh in the bass the B tone uh, or the C flat uh, tone. So it sounds like this and it leads to the C9 smoothly, yes. When you heard me playing this, you also heard that I have the hits on the, the 2 and the 4 beat in the bar. So here is the 4th beat in the bar and I will give it a hit but also at the same time playing the chord so it, it's like this in the context you hear a little bit of the beat it's it's i mean you play the chord at the same time you hit all right so that's the practice here uh, to hit and uh, play at the same time Actually, you cannot hit and play at the same time. It, you mean it comes a hit and then a chord. The chord comes just after the hit, so it will ah, be a little late, so to say. And then it's C9. Uh, then the bass line goes like that and then we have the F sharp 13 chord it's the same here it's on the fourth beat so uh, you hit and play at the same time and go up to the G 13 chord again and that's the pattern it's two all of these um, rhythmic ideas have, have two two bars patterns okay so it will sound like this That's the first one. The second one is more of a triplet uh, in the bass uh, thing. It sounds like this. All right. So the bass is uh, will change a little here, but it's the same idea, and the chords. 13 chord G 13 chord again and the hit and then we have this so it, so it will be a triplet there one two three one I like that and then it's the same D uh, flat 9 chord again uh, with a 
seventh in the bass and goes to the C9. So. C9 and it's the same idea here uh, leading into the G13 chord so, so it would be the same uh, but other chords then uh, C13 chord and goes up to the F sharp tone and we have that uh, F sharp 13 chord leading into the G This uh, works well here, of course, but uh, you can also uh, take them to another place in another song, uh, what, wherever it fits. Uh, but the, uh, the meaning of this lesson is that you get some ideas how you can use with the rhythm uh, uh, together with the bass and the, and the, and, and the chords here. All right. So that was the second idea. The third idea is also a kind of a triplet idea. It sounds like this. Right? So it's the same. G13 and the bass goes up like that. And here we have that triplet idea. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three. So the bass goes down, ba, ba. And it's the same chord here, D flat nine to C nine. So it's it, the idea is and you have that hit on the strings, and when you hit the strings. It's good to, it's not good to hit with the whole hand, you, you must hit to, to get in time to the next chord. You must hit on the strings that will be played. Alright, so you see. C9, bass goes like that, and then we have the triplet thing again with those chords uh, F sharp 13 to G13. It's a very nice thing to have in, in your rucksack when you're playing walking bass with chords on the guitar. Yes, <clears throat> and uh, the, the fourth and the last uh, rhythmic ID is this one. And what it is, is it, it's uh, duplets, quarter duplets you can say. Uh, you play two hits on in, in the same same len length of uh, three quarter notes, so one, two, three, da, ba, 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 bam, 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 and so on. And when you do that uh, in a four uh, four beat, uh, it will be. Un unsymmetrical so 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 the hit the chord hits so to say uh, comes uh, on different places and that's why this is a very good practice it starts with on the one and 
then it comes there again, the G13 chord. And, and here we have on the fourth beat. And it's the same, you practice this with hit and, and uh, playing at the same time. And then we go to C9, and the chord comes here. And bass line goes further. And on the fourth, we play this F13 chord goes up to the F, F sharp 13 chord and the, the hit will come just before it starts all over again. So here we start all over again. So we do just doing this two pattern, two bars pattern with this. So This is very good practice and you can take it to a song, you can take it to jazz, blues or whatever and uh, uh, it, it, it's, it's, all, it's not just a good practice, you, you can use it in your playing as well and it will freely the rhythmics with your chord uh, so you get more free to take the chord wherever you want them. So I really recommend this last one. I recommend all four of these to practice them and take them to another situations, musical situations and so on. So this was uh, four rhythmic IDs with the two bars pattern uh, in walking bass with chords on the guitar. And I hope you have use of them. And if you connect them with my other walking bass with chords on the guitar lessons, uh, with bass lines and uh, and chords, how to which chord you will uh, can play and so on, and how it works with that. I think you can develop uh, a very good way of playing walking bass with chords on the guitar. And don't forget the hits. For me, it's very much of the hits and to have that f swing feel in the in the playing. So have a great time, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, if you aren't a member on my website, uh, members website yet, uh, be that to get access to all of my uh, lessons and uh, uh, hope you enjoy this and hope you will enjoy lessons in the future and uh, hope we'll see each other again. Have a great time. Thanks.